Hi everyone, you're home on the tools with James and today we're checking out stack stone feature walls. So I've been building this outdoor laundry uh, for, for a couple of weeks now and uh, I've got it to a point where I've got my bench top in and I've got uh, the overhead cabinets. But what I'm left with is a bit of a, uh, a, bit of a, a wall, it doesn't look too great. Um, we've, got, we've got a bit of brickwork, we've got some plaster work and it's, it's, it's aging as well. So we want to spruce it up and make it look pretty good. So. What I'm working with today is stack stone, or you might also hear it called stone veneer. And I've worked with this stuff before. Uh, this is from a company called uh, Decorate, um, spelt with an eight. Uh, they're, in, they're, they're a mob in Oakley, and uh, they import, it's actually from China, this stuff, um, such as a lot of this sort of thing. Um, but it's, from, it, um, it's quite good to work with. You can get it at your local Bunnings. Uh, you can buy it direct from these guys as well. Uh, it's $25 Australian for a pack of five, and basically that's getting you uh, 125 high. Um, I think it's by 30 long. So what I've done, what I've got here is I've actually set my um, cupboards up at a height where uh, I can fit five of these high, so I don't have to do too many cuts because although it is pretty easy to cut, it's also a bit of a bugger. It's pretty messy stuff as well, uh, but it does give you an absolutely brilliant finish when it is done. So. I've set it so I can basically stack it five high uh, in here without doing any lengthways cuts, so that'll save me some time. And obviously I'll have to do some, um, some horizontal cuts, um, rather, sorry, vertical cuts in it uh, as well. A uh, couple of things that I've found that working with this stone that I like, um, that makes the job a little bit easier. I've done some of this stuff externally where I've used a big um, uh, bucket of tile adhesive uh, to save on a bit of money. And it, it, look, it did work really good. Uh, but I found when I'm working on the brickworks and uh, all that sort of stuff, that gets a bit messy. And uh, I've actually used this stuff now. It's a little bit expensive. Uh, it's Sally's Liquid Nails and it's Landscape uh, for bricks. So since I've got a bit of brickwork here and a bit of plaster work, this stuff will work really good. It is about 12 bucks a go, so it is pretty pricey. Um, use it as much of it as you want, but you'll pay for it. Um, I can use this stuff pretty sparingly and uh, get the job done pretty well. Uh, so you'll need a corking gun for that as well. Uh, and to cut to cut this stone, I found these bits here, and this is heavily used because uh, we're on the tools, right? We're not just reviewing new stuff here. Um, this is a multi-material diamond blade. Now these are a little pricey as well. You'll find them in the tool department. Um, I think this one from memory was about 25 bucks, but let me tell you, it is money well spent. It's got this abrasive edge to it. It cuts through stone like absolute butter. And I don't know if I can, you can see the edge there, but it's got this abrasive style edge. Um, it's really, really good. So you'll need one of those, uh, the corking gun, the liquid nails, uh, and absolutely when you're cutting this stuff, you need to be wearing glasses because it throws stone chips everywhere, right? So make sure you put your safety glasses on. So let's go have a bit of a look uh, at putting this stuff on the wall. And then when we come up to a cut, uh, I'll show you how we do that. All right, so let's get our liquid, uh, liquid nails landscape prepped up, ready to go. So ready to cut the top. Now with these, corking guns, because I do want to be using this stuff pretty sparingly, as I said, uh, I'm actually going to cut this relatively um, relatively short, so it comes in a smallish amount, and that'll just sort of stop me from getting too carried away and, you know, using a whole tube on the first row and then not having enough to do the job. So I'm just going to cut it sort of maybe a centimetre and a half down, uh, and then I get my stone veneer here, or stack stone. Uh, this colour is called Alpine Mist, by the way, if you're interested. Um, I've used a couple of different colours, but I find that this one um, against the white looks really, really good. Um, you know, the dark stone, I have got a few of those and I've used a bit of that around the yard as well, but it certainly does darken things up. Looks really good around the pool. So all I'm doing here is just on the back, nice and flat. And I'm only gonna put this on one surface. I'm not gonna put it on the wall and on um, the tile. You can do both if you want, but um, for this, I'm just gonna put them on the tile um, and we just do, do a sort of a, a zigzaggy pattern, like so. Go up there, go up there. And that will be absolutely heaps to keep that in place. And then, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. We just stack our stone. So let's take a look at it going on the wall.
So with the cuts for this, pretty straightforward. Just treat it like you would with timber. Um, so, you know, I've just marked out the cut that I need to make, um, hit it with a set square. These things already come all beautifully set and square, which is fantastic. Um, quite clever the way they do it. Um, so this is a straight cut, this one. So pretty much just level it off with a set square and uh, a grey lead in this case. Uh, and then I'm going to make my cut. Important thing to note with this stuff as well, really, really dusty, really dirty work. Um, you want to try and get most of your cuts together if you can and do it outside. Don't go and do it in a room, you'll, you'll make it absolutely filthy if you're doing it in your workspace. So um, let's keep going. So it's come along nicely and probably another couple of things just to watch out for when you are using the stack stone uh, on your wall um, is one, the first one with this liquid nail stuff, because I'm using multiple tubes, do yourself a favour, just keep using the same nozzle because you'll, you'll be able to get all the stuff out of here in the next, uh, on the next one you use. So use the one nozzle, don't use the, you know, I'm using three for this job so I'm only using the one. Give you a little bit more, save a bit of money. Uh, and the other thing when you're using this stack stone is what you don't want to do is you don't want to run them all from one edge the same. What you want to do is have some crisscross because it looks a lot more natural. So my joins here uh, in the stone. So you can see that this piece here is going to cross over um, here. If it lined up with this here, it would look no good. It would look a bit unnatural. So what we want to do is make sure that we've got an offset. So in this case, I'm running one row down from that way and I'm running one row back that way, and it'll always make sure I don't get that nice crisscross and get that nice finish. All right, let's finish up. And there we go, all finished. And I think you'd agree, you know, it looks pretty pretty fantastic. Um, you know, and for all less than $200, um, you can do it yourself very easily. Um, yeah, you get a really good finish. You can turn an area that was, you know, pretty pedestrian into something that looks pretty, uh, pretty cool that you'll have people talking about. So um, that's it. I uh, hope you liked the video. Um, if you did like the video and you'd love to leave a like, that'd be great. Uh, if you'd love to subscribe, that'd even be better. Uh, but you've been at home on the Tools with James. Thanks for watching.